Hello and welcome on the Polish Foodies YouTube channel. Today we are going to cook uh, one of the most popular food in Poland, which are pierogi. Um, to be more specific, we are going to make a vegan pierogi. The dough is the same for vegan or, or not vegan pierogi, so let's start by doing this. What I have here is about two cups of uh, all-purpose flour one cup of uh, very hot water, it even can be boiling hot water, a salt and oil. And foil to wrap the dough when it's done. So the first step is to sift the flour. This is portion for about 50 or 60 pierogi. We have to make sure that there are no lumps in the flour. Okay. Now I'm adding uh, four uh, tablespoons of oil and about half teaspoon of salt. And my water is really hot right now, so I'm using the spoon to mix it uh, first. But if your water is not so Hot, uh, hot you can use your hand so I'm adding the water really really slowly and mixing As you can see, it doesn't really look like the dough right now, but it will take some time to form. You can use any kind of food processor to, to mix the dough. Um, for example, I usually do it in my Thermomix, but right now I want to show you how to use it, do it manually. So, okay, so it's not hot enough right now, so I can use my hands to form the dough. It's definitely easier if you are doing it by hand. So today I'm going to make two kinds of pierogi. The first will be vegan uh, pierogi ruskie. Pierogi ruskie are definitely the most popular Polish pierogi. I will use uh, mashed potatoes and instead of the farmer cheese I will, I will use uh, tofu and also some fried onion. And the other part of my pierogi will be fruit pierogi. I will have wild berries. So now my dough looks definitely better than before. However, I can feel that it's a bit too tough, so I'll, I will need to add more water. So. Mm, Okay. So every flower is different, so we have to feel it. As you can see, my, my dough right now is quite hard and we don't want it like that, so I will try to add a bit more water. I have to be careful now <laughs> because the water is hot. So some Polish housewives are also adding the egg to the dough. Uh, for example, my grandmother, and she is doing the best pierogi in the world. 
But today we want to make vegan pierogi, so we are not adding any animal products. Okay, so you can you can start rolling out the dough immediately, but it's better to wrap the dough in the foil and leave it like that for about half an hour. And we will be sure that the dough won't shrink uh, when you are rolling out and then uh, cutting the uh, circles for pierogi. Okay, so now it's better. So we should wrap it in the foil and leave it like that. And in the meantime, we are going to prepare the filling for pierogi. Okay, so now it's time to make a vegan pierogi ruskie filling. What I have here are uh, mashed potatoes. It's about one and a half pound and they are still warm. One tablespoon of mustard. And here is the, here is the tofu. I'm going to dice it. Um, it's about 200 grams, uh, which is 7 ounces. Uh, you can also use smoked tofu if you want. So you want your pieces to be quite small because you can't put a lot of filling uh, into the dumplings because when it gets between the dough uh, it will just collapse while cooking so I think dicing it like that will be perfect onion in here. It's one big onion. Uh, I fry it on the oil. I also need about one teaspoon of salt and some pepper. And these are all the ingredients for the filling. So now we have to mix it. Mix them all together and our filling bowl for pierogi ruske, vegan pierogi ruske is ready. So as you can see the difference is uh, that we added mustard and instead of the cottage cheese we added tofu. So it's quite similar to the original recipe. So mix it all together. right if it tastes okay yeah the taste is great so we have our filling ready I will also make um, pierogi from um, with fruits so these are wild berries uh, with some sweetener because they were really really sour okay so let's start making our pierogi so the first thing is to put some flour on the clean flat surface. I'm doing it on the table. Um, and unwrap our dough. So it's kind of sticky, so we need to put some flour, some more flour. You don't want your dough to be too, so sticky. Okay, and let's just take, take a bit of it and, okay. and roll it out. I'm also adding some flour on the roller to make sure it won't stick.
and now I have two glasses one is smaller and the other one is bigger so we can choose whether you want the bigger or the smaller one because you are just uh, uh, forming the circle from the dough so if you choose the smaller one your pierogi will be smaller and uh, the bigger one they will be bigger so I think I will go for the bigger no? and you are just cutting off the circles from your dough this is how my grandmother was always doing it so she was cutting out the circles putting them aside and then uh, from the leftovers she was just putting putting them as, aside as well and then all the leftovers were the last portion the, the last batches of uh, pierogi okay I'll just put it aside and we are taking our fig so you are taking each circle putting the dough in the middle Don't put too much because it will be hard to seal. And if your hands are sticky, you can either, either use some water or flour. And now just seal. Be sure that there is, there is no filling between the dough because uh, a pierogi will collapse in the, when boiling. So this is my pierog, first pierog. This is how it looked like. You can also make some variations, for example, seal them like that. Like that. I will also post another video with different kinds of sealing, how you can do it. So, okay. Um, if you have a lot of dough, you should put pierogi aside and uh, cover them with the clean kitchen uh, cloth because you don't want your pierogi to uh, dry out before boiling. So, okay, now it's time to form all the pierogi. Okay, so now my pierogi are now ready uh, and it's time to cook them. So, uh, I'm adding about the half a teaspoon of salt to the water and one tablespoon of oil. Uh, we don't want our pierogi to stick together, that's why we are adding the oil. And when the water is boiling, you need to very gently throw uh, pierogi to the water. And they will sink to the bottom straight away. And um, after a few minutes, it, they will go up to the top of the water and you will need to wait for about two to three minutes uh, um, until you take them off because you need to make sure that they are uh, already cooked so we are waiting for the water to boil okay i will remove the heat So here are my fruit pierogi and these are uh, vegan pierogi ruskia. We will cook them separately. And okay, the water is boiling, so it's time to very gently throw pierogi to the water. So I remember a funny story that my grandma uh, told me that when she was giving birth to my uncle, uh, before the labor started, she makes make sure that uh, the food is uh, there's enough food in the fridge for the entire family. So she made pierogi and told my uh, grandpa to uh, you you just need to boil them. So what he did was pierogi soup <laughs> because he put pierogi to the cold water and of course uh, it all collapsed. So. When you throw pierogi, you need to very gently uh, move the water. Okay, and we are waiting for about a few minutes until pierogi go to the top of the surface. Then two to three minutes and they are ready. 
Pierogi has already been uh, floating on the surface for about two minutes, so I can take them off one by one. You can eat them straight away, just make sure to pour some fat on the top. Uh, these are vegan pierogies, so you can just use the oil. Uh, if you want to put them in the fridge, wait until they are uh, dry and then put them in the fridge with some fat. You can also freeze them straight away. So that's it, it's really easy, however it's a bit time consuming, but it's definitely worth your time. You can use the same water uh, to throw the second part, the second batch of pierogi to the water. enjoyed this video if you want the full recipe for my vegan pierogi ruskia uh, check out the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel smash and see you next time bye bye